here's what these plates look like, and they are fairly sturdy for a paper plate. Um, I'm going to use this as a hump mold because I want the texture of my slab to show up inside my plate. Um, you can use them as slump molds too, just be extra careful. It does have a little embossed China logo in the middle there, and I don't really think you want that on your finished pot. Um, so just take care and make sure that doesn't come out. Um, so I'm going to roughly place this in the middle of my slab. Trim out some excess around it. You don't want the weight of your clay too heavy on the side because it's going to tend to bend this. And I just grabbed a mug because I happen to have it hanging on the wall and it's about the right diameter and the right height for a pedestal for this mold. So I'm going to put the mug on the bottom and I'm going to flip this over. So now I have my slab centered roughly on my mold. And I'm going to take this foam roller and gently push the sides of this down. I just want to maintain those angular sides. And this is a nice, even way to do this. And I actually learned this from Bill Van Gilder. It just seems a lot more even to me than using a sponge. And I want to make sure to maintain that angular top on here so I can get that impression in my plate. So once I have those sides the way I want them, we'll, we'll finalize that later. But right now, I want to take some time and trim that excess clay off. And I'm going to take this wire knife here, and I'm just going to press that knife until it hits the edge of my mold. I'm going to take that clay away. This is one of my favorite tools. Now that I have that clay trimmed away, I'm just going to take a little bit of time and redefine this edge. Because this is really what's going to give you the depth to that plate. You don't want it to sit flat. You want it to have a definition between the bottom of that plate and the side of the plate. And that's it. I have this and I'm going to set it aside and when it's soft leather hard, I'm going to take a shore form and just round those edges off. Through the magic of video, this is now set up and it's leather hard. So I'm going to take it off my mug, remove the plate, and I'm going to take this shore form and I'm going to round these edges carefully. And once I've taken off those sharp edges with that shore form, I'm just going to take one of these wedge sponges here, hold that in my hand, just run that over the edge just to get off any sharp bevels.
yes, it's a busy road that I'm on, and I've got the door open so you hear all the traffic whizzing by. And that about finishes it off. And it's that easy. For $3.35 for a pack of 35 slump moles, um, it's a good deal. Try it at home. Let me know what you think.